an exciting hobby, but it's not just playing the games that's exciting. Nothing gets the blood flowing like the sudden announcement of a new installment in your favorite franchise or a new project by your favorite developers or even something completely new that just caught you off guard, like the relatively recent trailer for Mortal Shell. The trailers, the dev talks, the reveals, it's all part of the gaming experience. Now this is one of the situations where console gamers have it kind of easy. If a game is set to release on a certain console, it's going to play well on that console. But for PC gamers, this can be frustrating, especially if you game on an older machine. And it gets even more frustrating as the release date draws nearer. Do you get a certain game even though you're not sure how it will run on your PC? It's not unheard of, but let's operate under the premise that you don't want to do this. How do you find out if your PC can run a specific game? Well, there are many ways to get this information, and in today's video, we'll be showing you several. So without any further ado, let's begin. The most important thing here is the system requirements, especially if it's a game that's just come out. If a game is being released on the PC, it's going to have to list the official system requirements needed to run it properly. This usually comes in two forms, the minimum system requirements and the recommended system requirements. Those official requirements list several key specs that your PC needs to meet or exceed to run the game. They include the CPU, GPU, RAM, storage capacity, as well as some other software requirements like the supported operating systems and DirectX versions. Now, the thing that really grinds our gears about these official requirements is that there is no standard which developers need to adhere to when listing them. What does minimum mean? Is it just enough for you to run the game without crashing, without taking into consideration whether the frame rate will be playable, or is the resolution acceptable? Do the recommended requirements guarantee a smooth 60fps experience in the high preset? They might. In all honesty though, the minimum requirements generally tend to signify playability, but this often means playability in 720p. Sometimes the resolution is stated, sometimes it isn't. But enough about that. There will always be games that serve as the exception to the rule, but you should expect the rule to be the following. The minimum requirements list the software and hardware that's barely able to run the game, which means low settings, probably 720p, and less than ideal frame rates. The recommended requirements, on the other hand, typically tend to list hardware and software that's able to provide the gaming experience the devs intended. This means maximum or near maximum settings with the game running at 60 FPS or more. These are, of course, generalizations, so don't expect 100% accuracy, but they're generalizations drawn from years and years of gaming, so they should give you a good estimate if nothing else. System requirements for gaming in higher resolutions don't get listed, but honestly this is a really good problem to have so we can't really complain too much. If you're not sure where you can find the system requirements for a certain game, that's pretty easy. Just go to the game's official website or look them up on the store page of your preferred platform. For example, Steam lists them on the bottom of the page. We also list the system requirements for a lot of games on our website, along with tips on PC builds that can run them perfectly. The link for these articles is in the description, and they regularly get updated with all of the latest titles. Now, knowing which specs can run a certain game or not is good and all, but how do you know if your PC fits the bill? With thousands of possible hardware combinations, it's highly unlikely that you're going to have exactly what the developer prescribed. Fear not, all you need to do is check your hardware, which can be done in a few ways. Of course, you can always use the analog method if you've kept all of your hardware receipts, but the best and most efficient way is to simply search for system information in the Windows search bar. Once you open the system information app, you'll gain access to all of the info you could ever need and lots of info you won't ever need. You'll be able to see the CPU model, system RAM, and OS straight from the system summary. As for the GPU and storage details, just click on components and then on display and components for the GPU info and on storage for, well, storage. Of course, just because you know what your CPU and GPU models are doesn't mean that you'll automatically know how they perform compared to the specs listed in the system requirements. If you aren't sure, 
our advice is don't eyeball it. Why? Well, let's take PUBG for example. The minimum required CPU for this game is the i5-4430. And let's say you have the i3-8100 CPU. If you were to eyeball it, you may easily come to the conclusion that you wouldn't be able to run this game, since i5s tend to be more powerful than i3s. And you don't even have an i5. But the i3-8100 is better than the i5-4430, as there's a large generation gap between them. Of course, we don't expect you to carry this kind of information in your head at all times. Us knowing how powerful specific hardware is off the top of our head is more of a professional deformation than anything else. Which is why we recommend the use of User Benchmark. This website gathers data from hundreds of thousands of different PCs to give you an overall impression of how your PC stacks up. Just enter the component listed in the official requirements and the component you have and you'll be able to compare them. The site will then show you how much more powerful one of the pieces of hardware is in relation to the other. This can be used for both CPUs and GPUs. Just remember that there's no need to search for a specific graphics card made by the same manufacturer as yours. For example, if you've got the Asus ROG Strix RX 580, it's enough just to search for any RX 580, since the difference across specific models is minuscule at best. Also, keep in mind that these are just approximations. Still, they're good enough if all you're looking for is to see whether your hardware meets the official requirements or not. We should also note that this site doesn't list frame rates, but you can find that easily just as well. Just type in the title of the game you're interested in and your specs in either Google or YouTube and you'll see benchmarks for that given game on any specific hardware, or at least something very close to it. We prefer to use YouTube here since it lets us actually see what all the numbers mean in real time, but the written articles do give more information. Now what we've just described here takes a lot of steps. You have to find the specs and then compare them in user benchmark, and that's if you don't intend to look up other benchmarks for the game in question to see what frame rates you can expect. It's not outrageous, but it can be streamlined. So if you want to merge these two steps into one, you can use the highly popular Can You Run It website, which does just what the name implies. This is a database with system requirements for countless games, so it's a good place to visit even if you're just looking for the official requirements. More importantly, you can download a free piece of software that automatically detects your computer's hardware and uploads it to the site. Then every time you check out the requirements for a game, it'll show you whether or not you can actually run it. Technically, you can use this site to check for compatibility, even without knowing the specs you have in the first place. If convenience is the name of the game, then Can You Run It is the star player. It doesn't show you what frame rates you can expect to have in the game, like searching for the benchmarks yourself on Google or YouTube does, but it still does a lot. And that about does it for today's video. To summarize, once you've figured out what specs your PC has and what the official requirements for the game are, you've got several options depending on how detailed you want the info to be. If you just want to know whether you can run the game or not, Can You Run It is the best and most convenient way to check for that. If you want an approximation of how your PC specs compare to the official requirements, User Benchmark has got your back. This is pretty great since the minimum requirements often only let you play in nigh unplayable settings. Some would rather skip out on a game for the time being than relegate themselves to this. But if you want to know exactly what kind of frame rate you can expect with your setup, you'll have to look up some benchmarks. YouTube benchmarks are valued for how illustrative they are, but nothing beats the wealth of information that written benchmarks offer. These benchmarks are also the go-to method if you're wondering how certain games will perform on your PC in higher resolutions. Now, if unfortunately it turns out that your PC can't handle that specific game, then you should look to upgrade some pieces of hardware or get a new PC entirely. If you're looking for the best, most cost-efficient custom PC build, whatever your budget may be, check out the link in the description and you won't regret it. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can let us know by liking it, sharing it, and leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to enable notifications. We upload a new video every week, so stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.